Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome to your channel. A company called uh, Sunjack reached out to us and wanted us to do a review on one of their products. So anything to do with solar, I was like, heck yeah, send it on, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll do it. What it is, it's a little small. Power bank? Power bank, yes. But anyway, here it is right here. It's a light. Pretty cool. I mean, it's got all kinds of stuff going on with it. All right. And then you screw the end off of it right here. And that's how you charge it. You plug your USB. Let's see. Anyway, that's this. This is what come with it. This right here. I've had some pretty cool little solar panels, but this right here is, is pretty awesome. I really like this. Got the Sunjack logo on the front. And it's, it's heavy duty. This thing here is, I mean, it's, it's hard. You know, it's heavy duty. It's real heavy duty. And it come with... Let's see here. The cables to charge this thing with. You basically just plug it in. Like that. And then right here, you plug it in. USB right into the here. Getting in there. Just like that. Then you fold it out in the sun, like that. And it'll charge that thing right up. It don't take it long to charge. We've been using it all day today, you know, charging our phones and stuff like that. So, probably use about 50% of it. Basically, you just lay it out, like that. Like I said, this thing is really, it's heavy duty. It's, the construction of this thing is pretty pretty good. And it comes with a little zippered, zippered pouch on the back to store everything in. It comes with like a little thing you put in there to hold it on, like a little, whatever you want to call that. It comes with a couple of these to hang this up if you want to hang it up, say on the fence or lay it down, whatever you want to do. But you just take this thing, and basically just plug it in there, and then plug this into your phone. Ours would be a different cord, of course, because ours is uh, Apple phones, but that's a, that's a cord you'd use, like C port, mini C, or whatever you want to call them things. That's what that is. But like I said, this thing is waterproof. You screw this cap on here. And you can just dump it. Just drop it in a bucket of water. You know, and it, it's, it'll work perfectly fine. It's pretty, It's actually pretty awesome the way it's made. You know, if there's an off and on button. As I said, light. Okay, it's got a, it's got a blue light right here. It blinks on it. It blink once. It'd be that's for the like the charging percentage of the battery that's inside there. Blink once, it's zero to twenty-five percent. Blink twice, like it was doing, it's twenty-five to fifty percent. Three times, it's fifty to seventy-five, and four times, it's it's hundred percent charged. That's what the little blue light blinking means right there. It's pretty cool actually. You know, the battery life on this thing, according to the owner's manual can last anywhere once it's fully charged you can use this thing for like charging your phone and or a, like a light or use that light something like that according to the owner's manual it says it will last anywhere from eight to sixty hours that that's pretty impressive that's very impressive for a 2600 milliamp battery that's in this thing it's that's that's pretty pretty impressive that's pretty impressive all right i've got the, the spec sheet out on this thing i have to use my light because i'm blind but anyway, it's called the Light Stick Mini. Input is five volts, 0.8 amps. The output is five volt, 1.2 amps. The cold temperature of the light is 5,500K, the light is. So I mean, it's, re it's really bright light, like daylight. So it's really bright, the light is. It says it takes five hours to charge this thing. If you plug it up, plug it into the, into the wall there. Or basically with a solar panel. You can select, set it out, and stuff like that. And it'll take up to five, it could take up to five hours charge it completely charge this thing the battery that's inside this thing is 3.7 volts and it is 2600 milliamp hours so i mean it, it's got a pretty good little a bit of storage to it i'm like charging phones and stuff like that and you can get some lights that run off of a usb um radios certain things run off usb for like emergency situations and stuff this thing would be perfect so like this thing you turn this the first light on it's a low 
it, it says it will last up to 60 hours, 60 hours with that light right there on. That's a lot of time right there. The second one is cool white and it'll last eight hours. Uh, up to eight hours, yeah. That's, that's really bright to last eight hours. You can just set it down like that in a dark room, leave it on for eight hours. That, that's pretty good. The red light, it says this red light will stay on for 15 hours. Basically, it's like an emergency type situation or something like that. If you're out on the side of the road and you break down in your car or something like that, this lasts up to 15 hours. The red flashing light, it'll last 31 hours. Yes, sir. Up to 31 hours doing that right there. Which, that right there would be good to set, like, if you break down your car, you can put it, like, place it in your back window of your car or something like that to let people know that you're broke down. I mean, just anything like that. Or to signal, you know, like the police when they drive by or a tow truck, something, I don't know. But you can put it in your window and let it flash like that and people know that you need help. That's what that's for. The SOS light, it lasts 31 hours also. 31 hours, yeah. That's the SOS mode on it. Pretty cool. 31 hours. That, that's a lot. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. It says it will take up to five hours to charge it. Mm -hmm. That's with the cord and plugging it into the solar panel or plugging it in like one of those little blocks that you get for like cell phones now. Nothing comes standard plug in like a 120 plug anymore. It's got the USB thing on You gotta have the little block and you plug in to plug it into. So, so it'll take up to five hours to charge it that way. Or I, I would presume five hours with the solar panel too, I, I would say. Here's the, un, under the lid of it right here, you got your USB and I guess you see what it, mini C or whatever that thing's called right there. <clears throat> And you screw the cap on it's got a ring like a rubber seal in it you tighten it up like that and it is waterproof and just throw it in a bucket of water and it'll stay good and charge and stay on and stuff this thing even has a glow in the dark the button on it right here the power button to turn it off and on and the switch and all that the button that you mash here will actually glow in the dark so you can take this thing you, you can find it in the, you know like in the house of a night you know power goes out have this thing sitting here and it'll glow in the dark and you'll be able to see it so I mean, that's that's actually a very good feature for it too so that that actually glows in the dark all right guys the solar panel we're going to talk about it now the best part about it is it was made right here in the united states yep and it's it's uh 15 watts i suppose that each little flap on it is five watts I suppose, that's the way i take it so it's 15 watts total and it says that this thing will charge that wall mount speed, you know, wall receptacle speeds. I mean, <clears throat> we've been using it a little bit. It does charge pretty fast, but as far as comparing the two, I don't know how to do that, but it does charge pretty fast. Rugged and durable design, which it really is. Plug in and power up. Basically is all you do with it. This thing's got, like I said, a little zipper pouch on the back. And it's got like a little hub on the back right there. Everything's wired in that hub. You just plug into the hub. There's no wires to run other the solar panel itself. All you do is plug your wires into it. That's all you do. And you can take this thing in your backpack, your bug out bag, you can throw it in your car, keep it in a, <clears throat> a get home bag. We're gonna keep it here at the house and use it, you know, just in case you never know. Because uh, here in a little bit, we're gonna go outside and show how, basically how bright it is in the dark. It gets really, really dark up here. So we're gonna show how bright this thing is outside. All right, it's, it's about midnight, 11.30 midnight right now. And it's really, really dark out here. We're gonna walk outside. I'm gonna turn it on. And we're going to show you exactly how bright this thing is. It's pretty amazing. The idea is, you can see it is dark out here. The only light we got on is the one that motion light kicks on on the porch. And those little lights right there that we put up. I don't want to go any closer because those motion lights are kicking on on the, on the chicken barn. So I just want to show how bright this thing is. That's on low. It's on high. See how bright that little thing is? Mm -hmm. That's pretty impressive to be such a small thing. I mean, it hit the light out. Got several different other functions too. The red light. That's all. That as far as the brightness of this thing. I mean that is that thing would probably last for hours and hours like that too. Yeah. So, I mean, it, that's that's so bright it'll blind you when you look at it. So, I don't want to look at it too much, but I mean, that that's pretty impressive for such a small thing. 
It also make a really good like gift, like birthday gift, anniversary gift, Christmas gift for friends and family, spouses, kids, grandkids, etc. Yeah. It's it's exceptionally good for people like into prepping, preppers, you know, and stuff like that. Because stuff like this will be very valuable, probably sometime soon. But but even if you're just in a dorm room or yep. something like that, apartment, you could still use it. Yeah. This, and the, the light itself will be very, very valuable, you know, in case when time comes you'll need a light. You definitely need some light. So, in the power bank itself, you'll be able to charge your cell phones in emergency. Uh, radio, some radios use the USB plug, you know, to power them, stuff like that. So, every bit of it. I mean, this it's really well made. It's made by a company called Sunjack. Uh, we'll leave the links down in the description of this product. And uh, like I said, we have been using it for the last few days. Uh, we got it about probably about two weeks ago, and we've been using it to make sure it's gonna, you know, be up to snuff before we put a video out on it. So, and uh, I gotta say, I, I do highly highly recommend it. You know, it, yes, it's really good. It's really good. I, I do like it, and the, and the durability of it, I really like. It's it's made very well. So I have to say that I do recommend it. And we will, like I said, we'll leave links in the description for it and all that stuff. So guys, to get a chance. Check them out, Sunjack. Like I said, we will leave links. Go check them out. And if you haven't done so yet, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. And it don't cost you anything. It's free to do, and it helps out a little bit. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Have a blessed day. A like and subscribe. There you go. Good job.